हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसे एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑन डी आई टी एफ एफ टी हियर एक्स ऑफ एन इज गिवन फॉर दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड एक्स ऑफ के यूजिंग डी आई टी एफ एफ टी सो वी नीड टू यूज डेसीमेशन इन टाइम फास्ट फॉर इयर ट्रांसफॉर्म टू फाइंड एक्स ऑफ के हियर द नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स इन एक्स ऑफ एन इज एट देर फोर वी कैन टेक एन इज इक्वल टू एट बिफोर डूइंग एनी कैलकुलेशन यू नीड टू ड्रा दि बटरफ्लाई डायग्राम और सिग्नल फ्लो डायग्राम फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू एट सो दिस इज दि स्टैंडर्ड सिग्नल फ्लो डायग्राम फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू एट हियर दि आर्डर ऑफ टाइम डोमाइन सिग्नल इज डेसीमेटेड सो दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉन एज डेसीमेशन इन टाइम so here we have written the input as x of 0 x of 4 x of 2 x of 6 x of 1 x of 5 x of 3 and x of 7 so this order you can remember or you can use the process of bit reversal which we understood in our previous lecture to write these values so at the first stage we are having wa to the power of 0 here so for that we have written the value as 1 and at the second stage we are having w8 to the power of 0 and w8 to the power of 2 the value of w8 to the power of 0 is 1 the value of w8 to the power of 2 is minus j so we have written the same values here so in the third stage we are having the value as w8 to the power of 0 w8 to the power of 1 w8 to the power of 2 and w8 to the power of 3 the values are 1 0.707 minus j 0.707 minus j and minus 0.707 minus j 0.707 at the output we are getting the frequency domain signal from x of 0 to x of 7 in the first step first let us write the values of all the inputs x of 0 is 1 x of 4 is 16 so from this sequence we can write these values x of 2 is 4 x of 6 is 64 x of 1 is 2 x of 5 is 32 x of 3 is 8 x of 7 is 128 in the first step we need to find the output here to find the output at this point we need to take this input here so let us take 1 we need to add that input with this input on this line so it is 16 into 1 it is 16 so it will be 16 here so the output will be 17 at this point so these are the intermediate results that we will get so to get the output at this point we should take this input signal 1 plus so 16 multiplied with 1 it is 16 again it is multiplied with minus 1 so it will be minus 16 so plus 1 minus 16 it will be minus 15 in the same way 4 plus 64 it will be 68 output at this point it is 4 plus 64 into 1 it is 64 minus 1 it will be minus 64 minus 64 plus 4 it is minus 60 again we need to find output at this point it is 2 plus 32 it is 34 we need to find output at this point which is 2 plus 32 into 1 into minus 1 so it is minus 32 so minus 32 plus 2 it will be minus 30 now here on this line it will be 8 plus 128 so it will be 136 now at this point the output will be 8 plus 128 into 1 into minus 1 it will be minus 128 so the output is minus 120 
So, these are the intermediate results that will act as input to the next step. To find the output at this point, you can take 17 plus. So, the line which is joining this point is this one. So, you need to take this input 68 into 1 which is 17 plus 68. So, that will be 85. Now, the output at this point it is minus 15. So, which is on this line. So, the line that is joining this point is this one. So, you need to trace this. So, it is minus 60 into minus j it is 60 j. So, it will be plus 60 j. So, the output at this point it will be minus 15 plus 60 j. To find output at this point let us take this input line. So, which is 68 into 1 into minus 1 it is minus 68 plus on this line it is 17. So, minus 68 plus 17 output at this point is minus 51. So, output at this point again it is minus 60 into minus j it is 60 j here it is minus 1. So, it will be minus 60 j on this line it is minus 15. So, the output at this point will be minus 15 minus 60 j. Again to find the output at this point let us take the input here it is 34. So, the line which is joining this point is this one. So, the input is 136 into 1 plus 136 it is 170. So, output at this point is 170. In the same way for this point it is uh, minus 30. So, the line which is joining this point is this one. So, input here is minus 120 into minus j. So, it will be 120 j. So, the output at this point it will be minus 30 plus 120 j. So, it will be minus 30 plus 120 j. At this point it will be 34 plus 136 into 1 into minus 1. So, it is minus 136. So, minus 136 plus 34 it will be minus 102. At this point output will be minus 30 on this line it will be minus 120 minus j it will be 120 j into minus 1 it will be minus 120 j. So, the output on this line will be minus 30 minus 120 j. Now, this intermediate output will be the input to the next stage. Now, we need to find x of 0. To find x of 0 at this point the input is 85 plus. So, the line which is joining this point is this one. So, the input here is 170 into 1. So, it is 170. So, the output at x of 0 it will be 255. To find the output at x of 1 at this point it will be minus 15 plus 60 j plus. So, input on this line is minus 30 plus 120 j into 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707. So, on this line. So, you can use the calculator to calculate this. So, it is this value which is minus 15 plus 60 i plus. So, on this line it is minus 30 plus 120 i into 0 0.707 minus j 0.707. So, the output is 48.6, 48.63 shift equals plus 166 
0.05 j. In the same way you can calculate for all these values for x of 2 it is minus 51 plus j 102 for x of 3 it will be minus 78 point 63 plus j 46 point 05 for x 4 it will be minus 85 for x 5 it will be minus 78 point 63 minus j 46 point 05 for x 6 it is minus 51 minus j 102 and for x 7 it is 48.63 minus j 166.05. So, while using the calculator you need to keep the calculator in complex and radians mode and perform the calculations. Therefore, we can write x of k is equal to 255 comma 48.63 plus j 166.05 comma minus 51 plus j 102 comma minus 78.63 plus j 46.05 comma minus 85 comma minus 78.63 minus j 46.05 comma minus 51 minus j 102 comma 48.63 minus j 166.05. So, this is the final DFT for the given sequence using DIT FFT. This is about the problem on DIT FFT for n is equal to 8. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.